Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Orms TV. We'll be looking at some new gear, checking out some rumors happening in the industry. Yeah, and before we get into this video, please don't forget to like if you'd like us to make more content like this and subscribe, comment down below and smash that bell icon to get notified of more content as we upload it. Okay, so looking at Blackmagic, they just announced a new camera. Yeah, I mean, like, end of last week, and they, they dropped a bomb in the cinema industry, pretty quite much. A, quite a big one. A huge bomb. Yeah. So, brand new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. 6K. Yeah, just it's announced. Here. Exactly. <laughs> um, we are actually still struggling to get stock of the 4K model. Yeah. You know, that's still in short supply globally, and here they Super come and popular. they drop a, a 6K on us. And yeah. uh, it's an EF mount, which I think is quite a good move. Huge, yeah. huge on their part. So native EF mount, Super 35 sensor, yeah. and 6K video at 50 frames per second. That's, it's, that's, that's a beast. Yeah, and I mean, all of that retailing for just under 50,000 Rand, you know, so about 2,300 US dollars. So that's proper cinema quality. That's basically cinema quality, but for like, an eighth of the price. Yeah. It's it's crazy. We're excited to see that coming soon. Very, very excited. So then the other item that got announced was the new Osmo Mobile 3 from DJI. Yeah, I think we called it last week mm. on our rumors, mm. um, and we were right. It's got the new foldable sort of um, top part. So yeah. it's super compact. Very cool looking. So yeah. perfect for travelers. Mm -hmm. And then also it's got the new trigger lock, just like the bigger Ronins, so you can lock off the gimbal. Yeah. And uh, also something that's quite interesting is you can electronically switch between portrait and landscape mode. Yeah, because that was quite a mission on the mobile too. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, everything else looks like port like a sort of a software changes, really? Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, DJI kills it on software. They mm. like dominate in that area. Yeah. So excited to kind of play with it, get our hands on it, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And give you guys a review as soon as we get a sample in. Okay, then in rumors, we finally have some leaked images of the new GoPro Hero 8. Yeah, I mean, GoPro traditionally always launches just before sort of Christmas time, mm. November Christmas time. Yeah. So we're kind of expecting it. Mm. Um, it's probably going to be two cameras. I mean, it's going to be sort of a Hero 8. Yeah, yeah and, absolutely. And um, probably a new Fusion. Yeah. The Hero 8, I think the improvements I want to see on it is um, that you can attach mics maybe straight to the camera or maybe even screens. Yeah. Um, similar to sort of the, the DJI Osmo Yeah, so, so on, the, on the leaked images, it looks like there's like a housing that goes around it that's yeah. got like a, like a hot shoe port at the top kind of thing. So it's probably going to be sort of a modular kind mm. of setup. Mm. We'll, we'll see when it's more official, I yeah. guess. Um, but they're making some big claims, and uh, one of those claims for the Euro 8 is that you're going to get 4K at 120 frames per second. And that's, that's going to be crazy wow. slow-mo, yeah. If they can pull that off, I'd be impressed. And then also the Fusion, which is mm. the 360 camera, mm. um, it, it did fairly well. I think um, the improvements is definitely going to be on the software side of things. And then also, if they could, maybe just use one card slot. Yeah, that dual card slot was a bit yeah. of a nightmare to work with. Personally, I wasn't a big fan of the two card mm. slots. Mm. The so, sort of file management wasn't great. But uh, yeah, if they can make it into one card slot, then that'll be great. Mm, big improvement. So then Diona, last one, again back to DJI. It looks like they're bringing out uh, another small drone out. Yeah, so um, leaked footage everywhere um, on something that is being called the Mavic Mini for now. Okay. Um, we don't really know where it's going to fit into the lineup yet, yeah. but it sort of looks like a replacement to the Spark. Yeah. Um, Maybe and, Spark and Air, or do you think it's only going to be Spark? I don't know. Like, yeah. I think they need something in that, you know, that Entry middle level. gap. You know, they to go sort of from the price point of the Spark all the way to the yeah. Mavic Two. That's a bit of a jump, yes. you know. So keeping the Air or something else in that middle bracket, I think, is a good yeah. move. Um, but if it replaces the Spark. That could be quite quite nice. So bumping it up to yeah. 4K now, according to some of the leaked specs, uh, 50 kilometers an hour um, flight speed. Okay. So you know, not quite where the Mavic Air is, but you know, looks like Close. looks like a nice little piece of kit, and it looks tiny yeah. from the leaked videos. So it could be quite cool. That's it for us here at Orms TV for camera news and rumors. If you want to see the previous week's video, click right here. 
Yeah, and if there's anything that we missed or anything that you're excited for, please don't forget to comment down below and we'll catch you same time, same place next, next week. week.